Hey, listen, I have a question for you. Do you think those massive companies like 1-800-GOT-JUNK, the Junk King, College Hunks, places like that, do you think they use SEO for their services? You best believe they do. Let me show you. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again, do-it-yourself junk removal SEO, where I help junk removal companies, dumpster rental companies, small businesses understand the internet search engine optimization and getting their business found online for the customers already looking for their services. And today I want to discuss um, overall the SEO strategy for businesses. Um, when I first started this channel, um, when I started learning this SEO stuff, um, it was a more basic thing. There was businesses that have no idea what this stuff was. Um, you could set up a page uh, in a small town and just rank like that overnight, as long as you followed the rules of SEO. But as I'm seeing uh, time progress and I see so many people end, enter the industry of junk removal, not just junk removal, everything. And they starting to understand uh, what this whole search thing is. People are the business owners are starting to understand that people are looking for their services on Google and things like that. And I'm starting to see that it's going to come time. It's if anything is already happening where if you're not utilizing SEO for your business or your services, that you're going to be left in the dust. Um, basically the the cat's out of the bag you you have to do this kind of thing and it's a, it's an ongoing service that i think is just going to continue to grow it's going to be more needed as time as a, a market gets more competitive um you're going to have to need you're going to have to use it in order to get your business found um as one of your many marketing channels i know a lot of people use the facebook stuff the google ads of the, you know, the getting the word out there and just the, the guerrilla marketing type of thing, which always works. I mean, I did that myself when I first started my digital marketing service. I just just went out and just hammered and sent out messages to all kinds of different businesses. It's just that's just something you have to do the price that you have to pay. But I, this is the reason I want to make this video is to show you guys that those big boys, the 1-800-GOT-JUNK, the Junk King, another company I've seen is Load Up, College Chunks, that they are also used in SEO. Let me show you what I mean. These massive companies, like I said, the 1-800-GOT-JUNK, the Junk King, I've seen another company called Load Up. I'm sure there's more out there. I guarantee you they have staffs on their on, on their crew, whatever, that are doing, they're dedicated to SEO. This is all they're probably doing. They're building up pages, they're probably building up content, they're probably creating backlinks, they're probably optimizing their Google listings. They have full-time crews doing this stuff, guaranteed. If you're a massive company like that, it would be irresponsible if you didn't do it. So just I want to show you exactly what I mean, how these companies are using SEO for their huge brands or their franchises to get leads for their business. Let me let me show you. So let's say I go ahead and jump onto Google and I live in Lee Moore, California. It's a small town out in the valley of California. I always like to use this as an example because it's 20, 30,000 people. Still, there's a volume of people that need junk removal. But you're going to see right here, 1-800-GOT-JUNK's got a page out there. Load Up's got a page out there. So let's take a look and see if they're following the rules of SEO. Um, the rules of SEO basically is your, your title tag, your meta description, H1 title tag, H2 title tags, and the content on your page. One of the huge advantages these companies have is they don't really need all that much content because Google knows their domain name, their address, all that. I mean, all that stuff. They have so much trust, so much, probably tens of thousands of links pointing to this page. They don't need as much content because Google trusts their website already. Um, it just it just does. So if you go into 1-800-GOT-JUNK, there's their page. Just go ahead and copy it and drop that URL for that specific page into seoscan.org. You can do this yourself. It's pretty easy. Right? And you analyze it, you hit the analyze, and you're going to see their title tag. What does it include? Junk removal, Lemoore. And their description, does it have it? Junk trash removal in Lemoore. And look at their H1 title tag. Junk removal, uh, Lemoore. They can't be any clearer than that. This is exactly what they're doing. The H2 title tags, not that important for them. So let's try a different one. You got load up right here. Right? So they got this specific page. Copy the URL, go straight to SEO scan, pop that bad boy in there too, analyze that one too. And you're going to see junk removal and more right there. 
Junk Removal Solutions in Lemoore. Look at their H1 title tag. Lemoore Junk Removal, California Hauling Company. So they know. They know exactly what SEO is, so they're taking advantage of it. Let's give you one more example, the Junk King. I see them all over the place. Junk Removal Fresno. I type that into it. Who do I see? The Google guarantees and who do we see top dog? The Junk King. Well, we'll click on this page. I look at their, their page specifically. This is what us human beings see, but let's see what Google sees, which is exactly what this SEO scan is. Drop that URL right in there, hit the analyze button. Bam, what do we got? Junk removal Fresno, junk removal dumpster rental Fresno, H1 title tag Fresno, junk removal, the H2's Junk King Fresno, um, residential junk removals, all that sort of thing. So there you go. They're utilizing SEO here. And here's another thing that they're doing. These huge companies, not only are they doing this SEO correctly, they're doing another thing that I'm seeing more and more of as, as an importance to SEO, and that's the addition of content on your website. You have to keep adding more pages, more pages, more pages, more information on your website because Google indexes all those pages and it starts to see that this page of whatever it is is providing a ton of information for the end user. So Google, like I always tell people, Google at the end of the day is just information. So all I'll do is this gathering all this information. So the more pages these these websites have, the more authority they're going to have. I'm just going to show you right here, the Junk King. And there's a simple way to find out how many pages a website has that's been indexed by Google. So you just go into the domain right here, right? Go right to the very front of it, delete everything. I just type in site semicolon search and this will give you a rough estimate of what they got they have 10,200 pages on their website as you can see so they have page after page after page after page and one of the things that i've noticed that they do is they utilize something called a hub page um, a hub page is kind of like a one made page and that branches off to a bunch of other different pages so they have like a locations page we have a page of locations so sees that location page, and then from that page, it links off to all the service area pages. So it goes, and then it breaks it down into state. We service this state, do, 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 and then from that state, it services down to this city in that city. That's how they do it. How they structure the website and all the linking in between. Uh, let's go to go lo load up. I did the same thing. Site go load up .com, Hit search. Twenty five thousand pages. They have twenty five thousand pages on their website. Incredible. Another one, of course, good old 1-800 got junk. 3,260 pages, still a shit ton of pages. And what do they do? The same thing. Look at this page after page. If I have a blog, service pages, um, see there's their blog, right? So they're constantly adding uh, pages to their site. They're creating blogs that give information, how to dispose of broken exercise equipment something like this so these are little things that i see here in the future that if you're a local business and you're doing these little things for your junk it doesn't matter if it's junk removal or a tree service or, or a, a guy that rents bounce houses whatever you're gonna have to start adding content to your website you're gonna add, add pages to it everything's got to be seo structured everything's got to be linking from one page to the other so you can see the, the interlink their pages right back to the home page guarantee it yep See, this links to what we take. So they have a hub page about the things that they take. They have checklists. I mean, see what they're doing as they're creating content. It's no different than a YouTube channel. So if you create a YouTube channel, um, it doesn't gain any popularity until you have one video, one video, one video, and you have a series of videos. Once you have a series of videos, that's, that's what gets you. This. You're doing the same thing, but with content. You're creating a page, a page, a page, a service page, service page, service area, service area, items that we take, this and this and that. So continuously, you, you're constantly growing it and growing it and growing it. It's got to be organically too, grown and grown. And all that creates links from other websites coming into your business and things like that. So SEO is turning into a big, big part of business now. And this is why I, if you're not taking advantage of that, if you're in a small area and you just do the basic stuff, you're going to be good. But if you're in a competitive area, if you don't utilize a good SEO strategy, you're going to get probably probably going to get smoked by somebody who does.
So this is why I wanted to make this video and show you guys that SEO is just changing and turning into a more much needed service, uh, something that you really have to utilize for your business. You might even have to hire somebody on your team to do this for you. Is that's what you'd like to do or, uh, you know, something like that to do it yourself and things like that. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, uh, how important SEO is becoming and it will continue to become for all businesses. Um, and just wanted to make sure you guys are uh, well aware of it. All right, guys, that's all. If you guys want more information, what I do, the, the, the uh, do-it-yourself stuff I have underneath here on my description. Uh, we, I also provide the service if you guys want something like this, the designs and all that stuff, um, website design, SEO strategy, all that stuff. That's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.